channel. So today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look that I'm wearing right here. I wanted to do something very fall because it's almost fall, but in my brain it technically already is. So yeah. I really wanted to do something with orange and green and I really wanted to do some glitter. So this is the look I created. I'd also like to thank my amazing husband because he helped me choose some of the products to use in this video. So thank you baby, I love you so so much. But anyway, if you want to learn how to recreate this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so I don't really have a whole plan of what I want to do yet, but to save us some time, I did my brows and my face off camera, and I put some powder under my eyes, so that way if there's any fallout, I can just brush it away and not have to worry about my foundation getting all funky. For this look, I'm using two palettes. I'm mainly going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette for this look, and then I'm going to go in with one or two shades from the 35O palette by Morphe. If you don't have these two specific palettes, you can totally use whatever eyeshadows you have that are similar to the ones that I'm doing in your own collection so that way you don't have to feel like I can't do this look because I don't have that palette. For my transition color, I'm going to go into the Jaclyn Hill palette on a Morphe M441 and take in the color Creamsicle. I'm just going to apply that lightly into the crease again for a transition color. And taking a Morphe M504, I'm just going to blend out the edges. Then going into the 35O palette, I'm taking the bright orange color on the top row with the same Morphe brush and applying that into the crease just a tiny bit lower from where we applied our transition color. I'm really packing and focusing the color on the outer corner because that's where I want most of the focus to be. And then I'm going to take that same M504 brush and blend out the edges. I'm then going to go back into the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to take the color Hunts, which is a deeper orange color, and I'm going to use a Morphe M573, which is a more tiny blending brush, and I'm going to apply that underneath the bright orange we just applied. This is going to help deepen up the orange. I'm mainly focusing it on the outer corner and then blending it in towards the inner corner. And then again, going back in with the Morphe M504 brush, I'm just blending out the edges. I'm then going to go back in with the first brush we used and a little bit of that orange color from the 35O palette just to blend the two colors together. I'm then going to take a black pencil eyeliner. You can use whatever you have for a base. And I'm just going to apply that all over the eyelid as a base for the liquid eyeshadow that I want to use. And this is just from Morphe. I'm then taking the liquid eyeshadow from Wet n Wild in Lara's Necklace. This is from their Midnight Mermaid collection. I'm just going to apply that to my eye. And then I'm going to blend it out with a Morphe M213 brush. I'm just taking some on that brush so that way I can get into all the tiny nooks and crannies. I'm just going to tilt the brush to the side so it's like this to blend out the edges of that liquid eyeshadow. If it's easy, you could totally do this as a cut crease, which is what this kind of is, but I really didn't want to have to do the whole cutting of a crease with a concealer and stuff. Oh, this is so pretty! I'm then going to go back in my Morphe M573 and add a little bit of Hunts on top so it kind of blends in a little bit. I'm then going to go in with the Morphe M506 and with the color Abyss from the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm kind of applying that on the outer corner between the green and the orange so it kind of blends the two together just to give it a tiny bit of depth but not too much. And then taking a Morphe E17, I'm just going to take the, all the matte colors that we applied to our crease to the lower lash line. I'm going to take an E36 and a pack that orange color from the Morphe 35O onto my lower lash line because I really want the orange to stand out. 
And then I'm gonna blend that out with the same Morphe M504 brush. Okay, so I'm gonna do my other eye off camera and then we will go into the face. Okay, so I just applied some mascara and some brown gel liner in my waterline. I totally would have wore this look with lashes, but the only pair of false eyelashes that I have broke. It was a very sad day. They were Ardell faux mink lashes. They were so beautiful. So you could totally pair this with some lashes, but as you can see, this looks good without lashes. Also, please excuse my left eye. I went a little too crazy with the black eyeshadow, but it's okay. It's okay. We're going to make it work. So I'm just going to take some of my Butter Bronzer on a Morphe R2 and bronze the face. I don't care what season it is, I will always bronze my face. I'm then going to apply some Rose Champagne from Wet n Wild as my blush. So I'm just going to take it on a Morphe M530, which is technically a contour brush, but you know, there are no rules in makeup, so I can use this as a blush brush if I want. It's a little bit on the nose. I put too much on the nose. That is okay. Okay, highlighter. This is always so hard to choose. I'm going to go in with Flexitarian by ColourPop and then add just a tiny of champagne pop and I'm gonna use the Morphe M510 to highlight oh. I'm also gonna use this to highlight me in the corners I'm just gonna use my pinky because I can't find my brush I swear if I don't highlight I get really bad because I'm just like yeah, something's missing Honey, little bit champagne pop and for lips I'm gonna go in with love bug from color pop this is just a burnt orange color and then I'm gonna go over top of it with wet and wild pout of paradise gloss this is from their flights of fancy collection Okay, so I took my lip combo off because it was really drying on the lips and I wasn't really feeling the color. So I just applied just the lip gloss and it looks a little bit better. In real life, it's more of a burnt orange, but on camera for some reason it looks more like a red orange and that's totally not what it looks like. But anyway, this is the completed look. So I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more videos like this. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!